Hello, church, and welcome to the Midweek Pastors Update for Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. Got to start off this week with uh, just reporting how successful the food drive was that we did um, in partnership with Auburn Presbyterian Church. Together, we collected 100 bags worth of food to help out uh, the families at Rock Creek Elementary School which was just a, just a wonderful expression of love, of, of connection, of care. And, uh, and Pastor Paul and I at the Auburn Presbyterian Church, we, we just said, we're gonna keep doing this. We have to keep doing this because um, we're all stronger together. And when we work together as congregations, not only can we do much more, um, but we just build relationships. And I know it's hard to, to kind of be connected in the ways we might want to be, uh, you know, uh, in this time, but we're getting closer. And uh, he meant, he mentioned that they're going to do another food drive in June, and we will um, will be a part of that for sure. So I'll keep you posted on that. Meanwhile, I want you to just look at these pictures that I've uh, that I collected from that day. I want to thank Pete Clark um, for being a part of it from our church too. You see a lot of volunteers there that are represented uh, represented from uh, Auburn Presbyterian, and uh, we've got a um, you know, a lot of number of folks here at the church that are connected with that school in other ways too. So anyway, just a wonderful event. Uh, just so much donated and want to say a big thank you for that. This past Sunday, we had yet another worship service in the parking lot. That's where we're going to continue to meet, except for inclement weather, but we're going to continue to meet there. I'm thinking through the end of May. I know it's going to get hot and we'll, we'll work with that, but we had our largest turnout. It was somewhere in the 90s of people. So that's, um, I know as people get vaccinated, as they get more comfortable with being outside, um, it's just better and better. So I uh, want to encourage you to come. There's a number of folks still that are asking me though, maybe they've been, it's hard to get connected. If they don't use the normal ways of you know email or, or if they don't watch these, or if they don't watch the worship services, then they may not know yet that we're actually doing some of these things. So I just want to reiterate to people, if there's folks that you haven't seen in a bit and uh, who you might think might not be aware that we're actually meeting in, in person and having great worship services together uh, every Sunday at 10 a.m., please reach out and just, um, if you can, even just one person, uh, connect with them. Make sure they know uh, that, uh, you know, just bring your mask, uh, bring your... You don't have to bring a chair or anything, but um, yeah, just just come. So we want to spread the word uh, that that it's happening. But I'm very very pleased. I'm thankful for you know the staff and the support from so many volunteers at church that help make those services happen. Particularly Gino, our custodian, for setting up the chairs. It's just it's a lot of work to do it outside. There's no question. It's easier to do it inside. But right now. With the way things are and comfort levels being what they are, let's just stay outside. That's our plan, and um, we enjoy that the space. The parking lot works beautifully. Um, where I am right now, I'm sitting on the deck. A lot of people have said, "Why don't we do our services out on the deck?" And you know, it's a beautiful spot. There's no question about that. And we have shade protection. That's also a benefit. But if you sit long enough here, you can hear just over my shoulder is the the highway, and it makes it a little bit more of a challenge for overcoming that. Um, I mean, if you close your eyes, it sounds like a river. Except when those jack brakes happen with the, uh, the trucks. Anyway, that's why we're meeting in the parking lot as opposed to here. Uh, there will be times and places where we'd be happy to, to use the, uh, the space out here, but really fitting 90 people back here might be a little bit of a challenge. So um, we'll stay in the parking lot for the time being. Uh, another thing to say is that we have one more of our live acted classic radio shows happening this weekend, but it's not on the typical day. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have the office remind people, but it is not going to be on Saturday. It's going to be on Sunday. I know that's Mother's Day, um, but hopefully people will still have um, a chance to come in the evening, the normal time, 6 o'clock um, p.m., Bring your chair. Okay, that's that's the event that you do bring your chair to. So bring your chair, bring food, drink, whatever, and be ready to have a great time. Now, I will admit, 
when we set these shows up, we didn't plan on this one being actually on Mother's Day. Originally, it was supposed to be on Saturday, but we had some scheduling conflicts. So the truth is, it's not exactly a Mother's Day theme. Uh, there's a couple lighthearted scripts uh, that we're using, but two of them are suspenseful and a little on the darker side. So uh, just know that it, it's going to be a wonderful night of entertainment and fun, no matter what. So bring bring your moms, bring your bring your wives, bring bring your your loved ones, your families. All ages are welcome. You can bring your dog as long as they're, you know, not I guess running around, keep them on a leash. And uh, but anyway, it's it's been a great time. This is the last one for this particular series. Not sure yet if we're going to do other ones over the summer. We may well. But uh, for now, this is the last chance. So Sunday, May 9th at 6 o'clock here in the church parking lot. And I hope a number of you are able to come. Last thing I want to say is uh, this coming Sunday, and I believe the following Sunday, we are collecting that Strengthen the Church offering, which is a UCC denominational offering that it's part of the, the, the five that we have every, every year that we have been so good with participating in. Our church has been a five for five church. Okay, that means a, a contribution to each one of those offerings each year. I'm proud of that, and you should be too, because the the, de, not, uh, bleh, the denomination is is very significant in helping us do um, our work. Even if the basic level of being such a, a resource for for getting you, you know, getting us together, <laughs> back, uh, gosh, almost ten years ago now, nine and a half years ago or at least you know, just over nine years ago. I lose track, you know? So anyway, um, the strength in the offering, um, the st no, sorry, the strength in the church offering is designed to help that kind of work continue, to help the denomination uh, set up churches for, for finding you know candidates, for making that successful, uh, for developing youth programs in churches, for helping churches that are struggling kind of re-energize themselves. It's such a critical time these days, you know, where a lot of churches struggled coming through COVID. Churches that were struggling before have really taken a hit in membership. And when membership falls, money falls. And when that starts to happen, you get into these death spirals for a lot of these churches. We are so fortunate to have a strong, dedicated, uh, generous congregation here in Auburn. And I just look for other opportunities that we can continue to share out of our faith, out of our abundance, out of our um, just all the joy that we have on a regular basis in, in the ways that we gather. Um, it's just another chance to share that, friends. So if you feel moved to do so, please bring a check. In the memo line, you can write, Strengthen the Church. Otherwise, we also have special envelopes that are that are marked for that, and we'll, uh, we'll make sure it gets to where it needs to go. Oh, I think that's it. There might have been one other thing I wanted to share today, but sometimes, you know, you just have to let it go until next time. So... Friends, I hope this, uh, this update finds you all doing as well as possible. And until we see each other again, uh, may each one of you be held in the peace and in the love of Christ. Amen.